Alright, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called Topper Returns. 1941. Giving it 5 out of 5 stars. I think every movie with George Zuko gets an automatic 5 out of 5 star. <laughs> this is going to be a goofball mystery. In glorious black and white. Not only does it have... Uh, George Zuko, but it also has um, Eddie Rochester Anderson. The uh, the name that escaped me, even though he was in Gone with the Wind and uh, It's a Mad Mad World, I didn't recognize the name when I saw him. But Call to Arms, the cartoon, the ending, the ending part didn't make sense to me, but um, now it makes sense. It's kind of ironic that I didn't know who he was, and then two movies later, now I know who he is. <laughs> cool. I had to do some research, though. I had to look up his name to see what other movies he was in. Gone with the Wind, and it's a mad, 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 mad world. <clears throat> All right. So it's it starts out with this um, these two blondies. They're... Uh, they're in a cab, and uh, oh, the recital! My son's recital is done. I gotta meet the teacher. I'll be right back. Just give me a second. <laughs> my. Annoying ex-wife just texted me. She wants me to go to the front of the building to meet my son. <laughs> Here I go. I guess I have to walk him across the street. It's kind of, he's kind of young and unpredictable. Like, he'll cross the street without looking for cars. He's still 12 years old. <laughs> so I got to hold his arm so that he won't walk right into a uh, car here. There's busy traffic. It's a senior center, so they're forcing everybody to wear masks naturally because they're, uh, they're still scared about COVID in senior homes. <laughs> See right there. <laughs> you still got the COVID stickers here. Still no sign of my son. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hey, you made it. How was your recital? Thank you so much for coming. Would oh. you like some biscuit and orange juice, something? Sure. Okay, Eric, come and just take some. <laughs> They're serving food and refreshments. <laughs> You're all the other recital people. <laughs> Chinese, of course. <laughs> All right, so top of returns. Hey, there is a bench. I could have just sat here the whole time. <laughs> Anyways, my portable DVD player is probably not charging. So, um, so after the uh, the taxi cab overturns, they're uh, 
they get picked up by uh, Topper and his chauffeur, the great Eddie Rochester Anderson. <laughs> he's kind of like a step at fetch character. He's, he's funny as heck. He's a great comedian. I don't care what anybody says. He's great. He's the reason to watch. And he's in a lot of scenes, too. So they go... <laughs> Eventually, um, the two gals get back home. They live right across from uh, Topper's house. And one of them gets murdered. Um, but it's the wrong person. And... Um, And so the uh, the wrong person, Gail, I think Anne was supposed to be murdered, but Gail ends up getting murdered by mistake because uh, the murderer can't tell the difference between two blondies, I guess. <laughs> so Gail's ghost comes back. He starts bug she starts bugging Topper, blackmailing him into helping her fi find her dead body. <laughs> and, uh, Eddie Anderson is... Uh, busy searching for it, helping him out. <laughs> but, it, but he's scared as heck. His <laughs> the, uh, the hairs on his fur coat are standing up, as he says. Great flick. Love it. Couldn't get enough of it. Highly recommend it. It's public domain. I'll look for it on YouTube so I can post the link there. And uh, I guess my... My son is grabbing food. Here he comes. Laters.